I'm surprised no one's talking about this, but Ideogram just launched their 3.0 model and it's absolutely crazy. Check it out. As you've seen in that video, they've updated how well you can do different things like logos or even different photos that are super realistic and even how they have like text and images in there, which look way more aesthetically pleasing, like something you can find off of a Canva or something you may find on a YouTube thumbnail. This can maybe really good for that, but they even had this. They said Ideogram 3.0 pushes the boundaries of generative media with major leaps and photorealism text renderings and language understanding and evaluation by professional designers it consistently outperform leading image models across a wide range of prompts so what they put this up against was imogen 3 flux pro 1.1 recraft v3 and dolly 3 and ideogram 3.0 outperformed them by a decent margin as you see in their graph it's interesting they didn't have mid journey on here but imogen 3 is actually pretty good so to be able to put beat out imogen is or imagine is really good flux pro is really good and recrafters are really good too but i think they're a little dated which is weird to say because they didn't come out too long ago but ever since we have now well <laughs> chat gbt's image generator and how well that one's performing these are falling behind they need to update it to i don't know 2.0 or whatever the next version is to really compete but Instagram is not doing too bad and even though ChatGPT is the only one stop platform their creations in ideogram are pretty fast as you see here with this lady inside of a fishbowl or behind a tank or at least she looks like she is in a tank it says the update brings out new level of realism that blurs the lines between generated and real imagery it's now possible to generate sophisticated spatial compositions with intricate backgrounds, lighting, and colors. And so as you saw that lady with the fish in there, that's really good. They also have this one with <laughs> this toast skateboard kind of contraption that has Ideogram on there. It says Ideogram 3.0 handles complex design layout and stylized text with remarkable precision, unlocking game-changing capabilities for marketers, designers, and creatives, which it does look pretty good. They also have like, these four different images here where it's kind of like these smoky foresty type of images. And it says Ideogram 3.0 introduces style reference. Creators can upload up to three reference images to guide the style of their generation. This enables creators to quickly spe specify aesthetics that are difficult to articulate via text-based prompting, leading to a faster and more comprehensive creative workflow. Which makes sense. As you see in these images, how would you really describe this? Would you say smoky, foggy, forest, midday, twilight? What, what would you say to create this? But you know what they say, images are worth a thousand words. So why would I say anything when you can upload up to three different images to 
have this be the image. And if images are worth a thousand words, three are worth 3,000, right? But also they said with these images, they have a fresh style inspiration. Use a random style feature to explore a unique mix from our library of 4.3 billion presets. Well, you find the style you love, you can save and reuse it with style code. So the different style codes to help you reimagine different types of styles where they have one with the car when it's like in the diner, one realistic, one animated and different types of animation styles. They also said with minimal prompting, you can now generate professional logos, posters, landing pages, concepts and more. Magic prompt does the heavy lifting. Here are a few logos for their fictional coffee brewing shop. As you see down there, they have different logos from their coffee brewing shop. It looks pretty good. But not only that, they also have these different ads that you can do where you can have different different ads that look really realistic. They look like it could be landing pages. I think this is a complete game changer for anyone who any type of creative and want to do any type of digital imagery, having logos, different ads you can make with videogram and even just creative art to work like you saw with the woman with the fish, I think can really change how people do different types of digital media. Like for me, I think I may be using this more to make thumbnails. I do know mid journey is out now. And we've seen how amazing ChatGPT's new image generator is. Is this still not worth it with the different styles and the versatility you have? I don't know. I may make a video about Mid Journey as well as ChatGPT to see who is the top, who is the king or queen of all of this. Tell me what you think down below. Do you think this is a game changer or do you think even with this update they're still behind mid journey or chat gpt 4.0 with that being said your boy dex not dexter out